Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will persevere it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will be my servant. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, let us meditate on the importance of eternal life, the value of the inner of life. In our current context, we are so concerned with external appearance that we often focus excessively on how we look physically. It is not that we should neglect caring for our bodies. It is important to maintain good health and fitness. However, the problem arises when we became obsessed with our appearance and question whether we should under modification to conform to certain standards. It is common to read in the news about people undergoing surgeries to alter some part of their body. Why? Why are they not satisfied with their physical appearance? Many people are so dedicated to this aspect that I would dare to say they even idolize their bodies. Considering external appearance to be the most important thing in life. However, dear brothers and sisters, this can lead to negligent what is essential and indispensable, our inner and spiritual life, our relationship that we have towards our Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus says, those who love their lives will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. What does it mean to hate life in this context? It does not mean to despise existence or human life. Instead, Jesus called us to prioritize the value of the kingdom of God over flattening and ephemeral pleasure. We should focus more on our inner life, on our spiritual life, always seeking God. The Gospel also speaks about eternal life. But what is eternal life? This word is not being preached. The concept about eternal life is not being preached as, she, as it should be. We need to talk more about eternal life and we have to know, we have to acknowledge and believe in the promises that Jesus did that there is eternal life. Many have lost perspective on this concept. Sometimes we mistakenly think that this life, the life we're living right now, it's all we have and that everything ends when we die. However, as believers in Christ, we trust in His promises of eternal life. Eternal life will be an unending happiness and eternal rest where there will be no more anguish, no more war, pain, suffering, or hunger. Only love will remain and will be adoring and glorifying our Creator forever, contemplating His glorious face and joining the chore of angels singing, Holy, Holy, Holy. And we do an anticipation when we sing the Holy, Holy, a Mass, we anticipate what we're going to be doing in heaven. Today, we also celebrate the Feast of St. Lawrence murder. In Italy, it is traditionally throughout to be one of the hottest dates in the year. St. Lawrence, deacon of Rome, was responsible for administrating the church's goods 
and assisting the poor. When the authorities asked him to hand over the treasures of the church, he showed them the poor and sick as the true treasure, stating that they were the real treasure of the church. This cost him his life, as he chose to die rather than betraying Christ. When he was placed on a grill to be burned, he ironically responded, I am well done on this side, turn me over. His exemplary courage and dedication to a radical following of Christ, willing to endure suffering for love of him, seeking eternal life, and faithfully following his master, our Lord Jesus Christ.